what's up friends welcome back to Joe tutorial and if you're new guys a special special welcome to you now in today's video i'm going to show you how to fix your bluetooth if it doesn't find any device in your windows 11 or windows 10 pc right so if you're having this issue then potentially this tutorial will definitely help you to fix the issue so what i want you to do guys just simply go ahead and right click on your windows icon here on your taskbar and you simply want to go to device manager if you're not able to find a device manager here guys once you do that you can simply go ahead to the windows key on your keyboard or actually you can do the same thing on your taskbar here and you simply want to type device and you will find a device manager you can open it just the same now you want to look for bluetooth in the list here and if you're looking for a bluetooth guys and you're not able to find it you can simply come here and do a scan for hardware changes and it will do a quick scan and you'll be able to find the bluetooth hardware here right so once you do that guys if you're able to find a bluetooth what you can do here is just simply go ahead and find the intel wireless bluetooth here guys and once you find it here just simply right click on it and you can do a disable and then enable it again and if this doesn't work you want to also go ahead and try to do update driver as well now once you do update driver you can simply search automatically and see what it finds if it finds the latest driver, it will install it for you. Then go ahead and restart your computer. After you restart your computer, try again. If you find out that that did not work, you want to do the same step, guys, by simply go ahead and find it. And you want to right click on it again, do update. But this time you want to choose browse my computer for drivers, right? So once you click on the second option, you want to do the option that says, let me pick from the list available. And then you will be able to find some options here. So these might come from different updates that you have but it will find different versions and you want to go ahead and try from the older one let's say you want to try each and every one of them to see if any one of them would actually work so in order to do that just simply click on one click next and then it will go ahead and install that driver for you right so once you do that again restart your computer and if this still did not help guys as you can see here it says intel wireless bluetooth driver now, I will also recommend that you go ahead and find this on Intel. So you can go to Google and type Intel Bluetooth driver, right? Once you do that, it will take you to the Intel website. You can simply go there and you can find the latest driver and you can install the latest Bluetooth driver, right? As you can see here, Intel wireless Bluetooth driver for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And as you can see here, there are two versions. There's 64-bit and there's also the 32-bit. If you don't know which version to do, you can simply go ahead and open up your system information so go ahead type system information and you want to open that once you open the system information you will see on the system type if you have a 32 or a 64 bit i guess in most cases most of these computers nowadays are coming with 64 base pc so you'll definitely install the download and install the first one now after you do that go ahead and restart your computer after you restart your computer you want to try again now, if after you restart your computer, you're still having issues, what you want to do, guys, just simply go ahead and open up the services by simple typing services, right? So once you start to type services, go ahead and open up services, guys, and you just want to click anywhere and you want to type B. And this will take you into the section where you have all of those services start with B. Now, you want to look for this one that says Bluetooth support services, and you want to check to see if it's running. If it's in manual, you can also turn it on. You can also change it, guys, by going to the properties by simply right click on it, go to properties, and you can change the startup type from manual to automatic. So once you change that, just simply click OK and you want to try again. You can also take it a step further by restarting this specific service as well. So once you click on a particular service, guys, you can simply look to the upper left hand side and you will see restart. You can restart the particular service and then try again guys and i'm telling you guys one of these options will definitely fix the issue for you and in the worst case as i showed you there if you reinstall the bluetooth driver from the intel website restart your computer also you can also ensure that your computer is up to date so if you simply right click again here and you want to go to systems here on your computer go ahead go down to windows update and you can also ensure that your computer is up to date so you can check for update to see if you have any update on your computer update it once your computer is up to date once you have the latest driver which you download either by the system or you go to the intel website and reinstall this restart the services guys i'm telling you one of these should definitely fix the issue for you and if it does don't forget to give this video a like let me know in the comments below if it actually did 
And of course, if you're seeing the channel for the first time, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button to become a part of this community and so that you'll never miss out when I release another video just like this one. Thank you very much and see you next time.